Friends, I don't know about you, but I want my evenings to be relaxing. I want them to accomplish all that they need to accomplish. I want it to be lovely. I want it to be family focused. I want to go to bed with a clean house. I want to feel like rejuvenated and rested and all of that wonderful, lovely stuff. So how do we do that? How do we accomplish that when, come on, life for real and kids and bedtime routines and let alone picking up the house or anything else. I am going to walk you through step by step exactly what an evening routine looks like in our house right now. Four kids, a homestead, animals, YouTube, work, all of the things. This video might be a little long, but I'm going to take you every step of the way and tell you how we get our home back to ready each evening. I get a little time for myself, I get family time in, work time in, and I have a lovely evening, huh Barley? So, Come with me. This is how our nights go. Ready? Tonight sets your tomorrow up for success, and I shared about this in yesterday's video, but what are those things in your home that just drag you down and maybe drive you bananas? For me, it was this end table. It was broken, I've tried to repair it so many times, and tonight, to make my evening routine a little bit lovelier, I finally replaced it with this simple, inexpensive $30 end table that this was a bit of lovely to really kick off my evening routine. Now every evening for us, usually around 7, 8 p.m., we head outside and we want to have a lovely routine. We want to have some beauty and fun in each and every day. Maybe it's my brother out on his motorcycle. Maybe it's me with my amazing electric trike. I love this thing and I'm so thankful to Virabus for sending it our way. We'll share more about it here in a second, but I love this. We lovingly call it my farm truck. And every evening I pull my trike out, I usually end up with an Olivia in the basket, and we head out to do our our evening routine. Regardless of what the day has brought, what busyness we may have had, coming out and seeing my flowers and getting some time out on the property and watching the sunset and of course having fun playing on my trike and the girls on their bikes, getting out and just spending some time outdoors, especially as autumn is drawing near and the nights are getting cooler. We just love being out here and having this time together every evening, whether it's been a long day of homeschool or ministry work or whatever it might have been, getting this time to just soak in and enjoy the property really is so special and really is the start to a beautiful evening routine. Now, real quick, I do want to pause and thank Virabus for sending us this amazing electric tricycle. I absolutely love this. It's perfect for cruising around. We have some wonderful hiking trails I can take it to. And honestly, just using it around the property has been so much fun. It really is helpful. They sent it over. It was nearly all put together. My husband just had to finish assembling it. They had all the great instructions, so it was simple to get it put together. It has a great long battery life it has different speeds it has different features like a light like a bell and a large carrying basket this has been so much fun to get to use and all of the kids honestly are a little jealous as I have my electric trike to carry me around and they all have to do a lot of manual pedaling so very thankful for this not only do I enjoy it but it is incredibly helpful here around the old homestead so thanks to Virabus for sending this over so every evening starts, of course, with farm chores, like today, getting dog food down to the barn. Thankfully, I have my brother to come and lift all the heavy things for me. But with all the animals that we have, there's lots of tending to be done around the farm. Uh, thankfully, we all love having our toys to play with. And getting a race in with the kids is obviously quite a part of checking off all of the boxes. I had some good distance there for a while until my brother came in. We like getting out and making sure that everybody is fed and taken care of. We're building new fences and taking care of all kinds of fun stuff, but uh, 
we're not totally done yet. It can't all be work. We have to have some play in the meantime. And so we've made a little trail that we love trying to all hit every evening and usually until the sun goes down. All right, ready, bye. Ready? Okay, Gigi, you turned around? I'm trying. Ready? Yeah. Ready, Gigi? There we go. <laughs> Hurry, girls, keep up. Now that we're all done playing, I guess we should actually get some work done, like bringing in the animals. Like I said, we've done been doing so much work around the homestead. We're building fences, we're moving stuff, setting up a great solution for all of our critters, but not completely done quite yet. And so we've been going out in the evening and after letting the animals kind of mosey around and eat in different areas of the yard. We collect the sheep and bring them in. We get the Great Pyrenees, bring them in. Of course, make sure all of the chickens are getting fed and tucked in for the night, the turkey, making sure everybody is happy and healthy. got a bit of a late start tonight, but now it is time to come in and get our house back to ready. I thoroughly believe in everybody working together to get our space put back to ready. That means making sure all the dishes are loaded up, all the counters and tables are cleared and wiped up. We schedule our dishwasher to run over the night. We schedule the washing machine to run overnight. We schedule the vacuum to run over the night, doing the things that we can so we can wake up and come out to a nice clean and tidy space in the morning. Luckily our son has been really taking his piano practice to heart and nothing like getting to listen to him play while we all tidy up. really is amazing how just a little bit of time spent together all pitching in getting the space back to ready can really make a big impact now it's not perfect I didn't deep clean everything like the pile of boxes there that still needs to be dealt with but our spaces are tidy it is set up in a way that I can wake up in the morning feel good and be ready to start my day these little things like this here in the evening really does make a huge difference and now that everything is tidy and put back to ready, we can really enjoy our evening. So as my son works on his melody, Livia, of course, has puppies to snuggle. Everybody can start relaxing and just cozying up for some family snuggles. Now, this is the part of the night where I then head off once everybody is set, everyone's taken care of, everybody's handled, and I go do my evening routine. This is a time I use every night to really reset myself, and I really look forward to it. Every evening I go in and I get my shower. I go ahead and will usually even light a candle or something that just makes the space feel lovely. After I shower, I love to use my different products to really just keep up on my needs, like whitening my teeth. I've been loving these strips that I've been using. I, of course, have my amazing Ipilator. I love this thing. I've had it for years, and it really is just wonderful for my hair removal. And then, of course, my Curology. I will link this down below if you guys are looking for some skincare because I absolutely love the transformation I've seen in my skin since, honestly, eating carnivore and using Curology skincare products and so using all of this has just been wonderful while I get my shower do all my skincare my teeth whitening I go ahead and turn on a sermon or my Bible app or even a business podcast and listen to that while I get some time for myself well almost myself because it usually doesn't take very long before 
Betty, my beautiful little dachshund here, usually is at the door scratching and then makes it in and will dig endlessly in my dirty clothes until she makes herself a bed. But that's okay. I still get to enjoy this time, even if it is with a little bit of company. As moms, are we ever truly alone? And so taking some time to get a shower. Well, again, I've listened to a podcast or my Bible app or a sermon. I finish up my skincare routine every evening. I do not skip this and I make sure as I'm using stuff, I go ahead and get it put away as I'm done using it. So that way I'm keeping my space back to ready as well. I let my hair air dry for the most part, put on some teeth whitening strips. I did try these ones. My dentist actually recommended just using the Crest White strips, but then I saw these ones and they were all natural, so I just had to give them a try. Um, I'm not sure, maybe I'll have to do some Crest Whitening ones afterwards to be able to compare, but with all the coffee and the tea and everything else that I drink, I love making sure to use my whitening strips. So once I get all of this said and done, the last thing that I like to do here in my time is to finish up my nail routine. I have been using the Rocket Nail Fuel System and I love this stuff so much. I cannot scream it from the rooftops enough. And finishing up my night here with adding on the cuticle oil really does help in keeping my nails so healthy. Once I finished up all of my stuff, then it's time to head out and join the kiddos and the hubby for some snuggle time. The kids are usually doing would you rathers or different trivia games with their dad while I'm in the shower doing all of that. I make sure that the laundry has been scheduled. I make sure that our vacuum is ready to go and on its charging box. I love this thing so much. I will link it down below. It is the absolute best. And of course, make sure that those dishes Lily loaded up earlier have been scheduled. Once all those boxes have been checked, I can then sit down and join everybody. I usually go ahead and pull out my laptop and have it here at the table with me so I can try to get some editing done while we watch stuff together. After we've had some time to snuggle and watch stuff, of course it's time for prayer as a family before the kiddos head off to bed. So once the kiddos are off to bed, usually by 10 p.m., it's time for me to make a nice hot cup of tea or sometimes pour a glass of wine and sit down and get some time with the hubby. Um, we usually spend some time in the evening either watching something, sometimes I'm still finishing up some work, but I guess that's the joy when you work together in ministry with your spouse, the things we do, we get to do together. I love this time in the evening, even if it's just to have an hour or so to just unwind, to relax, to get ready for a good night of sleep and a new day with whatever it might be that the Lord puts before us. But having this evening routine, it really makes such a difference. 
I make sure that every evening, yes, we check off the boxes like getting work done, tidying up the house, scheduling the laundry, right? Doing the things today to set me up for success tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to wake up with clean floors. I'm going to wake up with clean laundry. I'm going to wake up with clean dishes. I'm going to have my work done. All of that stuff is fantastic. But we always make sure to have fun added into it, like getting outside and getting on our bikes, like having fun and using my Vera bus trike to ride around with the kids, like getting out there with the animals and soaking in the sunset and the beauty of what the Lord has given us. All of that makes such a big difference as we pull together yet another day and prepare for the new one to come. Thank you.